Hi guys, how are you going? It's Chelsea. Uh, I thought I would share this piece with you that I've worked on this week. So I started it traditionally and just drew something in my sketchbook, which I really didn't end up liking. I then took it into Photoshop and edited it a little bit and then traced it onto normal paper so I could colour it traditionally because I prefer to do that that way. I just prefer traditional to um, to digital. This piece is based on a song called Faded by Kate Diagro. If you haven't heard it, which if you're not Australian, you probably haven't. She was off Australian Idol quite a few years ago. It's basically about conforming to other people's standards and to society's standards. And I just, I've gone through that a lot in my life and I don't think it's necessarily the right way to go about things. If you are constantly conforming to what other people want you to be, then you're not going to be happy with yourself. So I just, I really think it's important to be yourself and be confident with yourself and not what other people expect of you. I used my Statler pigment liners on the art department watercolour paper, which I just got from Warehouse Stationery in NZ. I also used my Copic brush pen and Pentel brush pen when I was doing the heavy outline. I really, I don't know. This piece I started when I had a like a mass anxiety attack. I haven't had one for a couple of months, so it was, I felt it coming and just decided I would draw so I could get myself out of a slump. And when I really ended up hating the drawing, I was just, you know, I think if you've ever, if you ever have anxiety or like even just being an artist, you know how it is where you go in really excited for a piece and you just, it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. So you just end up hating it or your mood just affects you and it could be something that you've done that's really well, but I don't know. I just, I'm affected by a lot of things. My art is, as you can see, it's influenced by music and then also influenced by my mental state. So yeah, I just, really wanted to draw this piece. I really liked the music and it just tried tried to get me out of a slump. A lot of my artwork is actually based on music. I, I like I like doing a lot of music based things. I've always um, I've always loved music. Like I used to have one of the big iPod classics that basically had everything I ever listened to on it. And I just find that if I'm having a lot of trouble that's where I can draw inspiration from. I, whenever I'm painting, it seems to be that I listen to my old pop punk stuff and that's what helps me get in the mood for painting, like all like Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance and all those kind of bands. Like whenever I was painting at uni or working on my big pieces, that's what I would listen to. I, I don't know why I like, I would listen to other stuff and it just wouldn't put me in the same mood. Let me know if that's something that you guys find, that you have a certain kind of music that you like drawing to or like painting to. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I just, I really tried a few new things in this such as the way the eyes are drawn and then I also went in with dot work which I've really been loving lately of course you know the most tedious art style you can think of I pick it to do so I just I went in after lining this I went in with the smallest pigment liner I had which was a 0.05 and just went in and did the dot work I didn't film at all I filmed a little bit of it, It's my camera shut off and I just thought it would be quite tedious to see it all as well as it took me quite a few, like I think it took me over an hour to do. So you don't want to sit around and watch this for like 20 minutes of me doing dots. <laughs> 
if you know what I mean. Like, that would just, oh. So after I finished off the line work, I taped it down to my, just my cheap light box. It's literally like, I don't know, $30 off eBay. Taped it down with some drafting tape and went in with my watercolor palette. I didn't really want this to be an overly complicated piece. Like, as you can see, it's just a full size. So I just, I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Uh, overcomplicate it, <laughs> sorry. I can't talk. I just, this is like, I don't know, the fifth time I've done this recording. I just, I fail every single time. I practiced with a few colors when I did the original line work in Photoshop so I could see where I was going with it. I wanted to keep the conformed side a bit more natural looking so like natural colors in her hair and natural makeup whereas the other one was supposed to be quite quite different to the other side so that's why I went really colorful with the hair. Um, with my personal experience with conform conforming is that I've always wanted to color my hair bright colors but it was always work or school or even one of my boyfriends telling me I couldn't do it so that is a huge part of what I see as conforming is your hair color I know that sounds really ridiculous like I actually love my whenever I have blonde hair but it's just I know it's a personal symbol to me I didn't change the style of shirt on both sides because I really wanted the piece to show that it was one, like one person, like just different sides. Lately I've really been trying to mix up the style of what I do. I really want to try and develop my own personal like artistic style and I think that's one of the reasons I kind of hated the line work is it just didn't look, uh, not the line work, sorry, the traditional drawing. I really loved how the line work of this turned out and I loved how the colouring turned out but for some reason the piece overall I just, I don't know if I'm happy with it or if I hate it. I have no idea. So I'm really just trying to develop as an artist and develop my own style You didn't see the process on Photoshop or anything purely because I'm still quite new to making art videos and I don't quite know, like I always forget to start filming. I thought I'd start doing something like, for instance, I, start, I had already started lining this piece when I was just like, oh crap, I haven't started filming or anything. So it's still something I'm getting used to, but so far I'm, I'm really liking making art videos, it just, it means I get to do what I love as well as not having to make time for other videos, even, like, I do love making videos but I just, I like combining the two passions together. Again, see, I told you, I, I forgot to start, I forgot to film, and I was like, oh crap. So all you basically missed is me, like, 
doing a bit more to the skin and then after this whole process I go in and just go over the lines So this is the finished piece. I hope you like it. Um, again, I'm not quite sure about it and thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and click subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye guys!